Hey everybody, it's Alan from Season 10 of Alone. Thanks for tuning in again to Tenta Outdoors. Today it's just a really quick video. I want to show you guys the trap I used to control all those pesky mice that invaded my shelter for pretty much the whole time I was out there. Not including the one I killed with my hand on my bed, this trap killed 14 of those mice. It's called the Paiute Deadfall Trap. And it's one of the only two things that I brought back with me from my experience. I brought back a rusty tin can that I used to hold my hooks and lures and I brought back this little Paiute deadfall trap that I made one night lying in my shelter. It was extremely effective. I don't think any mouse actually escaped it. And I also want to dispel a myth that I read about about these traps as well, that once a mouse is killed in your trap, the other mice smell it and they know something's going on and they don't come back. Well, that's not true. So one night I actually killed three back to back in the same spot, there was like brain matter and blood still on the rock. It didn't stop the mice from coming back. So just going over the parts of the Paiute deadfall trap. This little piece here is your bait stick. I like to sharpen one end so it grabs the rock more easily and it's easier to stick your bait through that sharp point. We have our Y stick, and which is roughly about half the size of your long stick. And your long stick, one end needs to have a little groove put in it for your paracord or other type of cordage to attach onto so it doesn't slip. We've got our little toggle. And then the other side, you'll see that we have a groove here as well. And that groove is going to rock back and forth on the Y stick. It's going to lock in place when it's balancing the rock. Very simple and quick to make. Those are the pieces you'll need to make your Paiute deadfall trap. So I've got the trap set up here. Another thing I want to point out is the long stick here, like the hypotenuse of this little triangle here. This long stick should be as low to the ground as possible. It should be a nice straight line from the end of your long stick to your toggle. You have to make sure that your Y stick is not going to be in the way when this rock falls down. You don't want it too close, otherwise it could stagger and and hesitate for a minute if it bounced off your Y stick and it could give the mouse a chance to escape. But this little piece here between your Y stick and the rock should be short. It's also a good idea to have your trap on top of a, another rock. It just creates a nice flush surface and make sure that it uh, kills the mouse quite quickly and doesn't give it a chance to wriggle out if there's any spaces between the two rocks. So very simplistic trap. It's got your long stick, your Y stick, the bait stick, the toggle, and a piece of paracord. And the piece of paracord, as you can see, wraps around the stick here. And this cord goes on top of the toggle. And this bait stick is just preventing that toggle from escaping. And you can set it up extremely sensitively. Let's set it off. Mm, this is delicious. Mm. What I like about this trap as well is when the rock falls, everything ejects forward out of the way of the falling rock. Folks, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, I looked at YouTube analytics and only 14% of the people that watch my videos are subscribed. So if you are enjoying the videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll see you next time.